Hi guys, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm gonna be doing do, 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 do. today I'm gonna be doing uh, another thrift haul. So I'm gonna get right into it because I don't really know how much time I have. I'm filming today in my um mom's room, so I just filmed this makeup tutorial. So I'm now filming filming this thrift haul. So I obviously don't have that much time. All my setup was already here. It was here because the window has like really good lighting, but I have my ring light and I'm going to use that. And that's my setup for today. I'm just going to show you what I got at my last day haul. Really quick. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to show you what I got at my last day haul. I went, my last day haul, I went to, um, Lower Manhattan. I went to 23rd Street, I think, and Tevin came with me, and he helped me thrift some pieces as well, you know. So that was fun, whatever, then we went to get pizza, and that pizza was hella pricey. It was like $7 for like two slices, yeah, because we paid 7 each. It was a lot. I'm like, damn, for some pizza? I'm like, what the hell? She made of gold. Got them sprinkles, gold in there. Anyway, I'm gonna just start with my favorite piece, um, which is this one. This is just a sweater from Sundance that I picked up, and it's actually like gonna retail for about thirty dollars. I think it's so pretty. I just like the gray and then the colors, and I really like this sweater. And this is really big. It's in a petite large, I guess. It says PL. You know, I didn't know they had bigger sizes like that in petite, but I guess that makes sense. I thought petite, when they said petite, they just meant like small and like skinny and just small, you know? But I recently learned that. I learned something new every day. But I guess there are thicker women in smaller sizes, so, so that makes sense, obviously. Duh, me. Anyway, next up, I got this John Mayer like a little sweater vest a lot of the things from john mayer retails that i've seen retails for like 20 to like 70 dollars like if you get like a vintage piece it's like could be like 70 dollars um but this is just a sweater vest um from competition on ebay i listed it for about i think i listed it for 20 dollars maybe but if it was if i listed it for like 20 dollars I OD down price my stuff so like just to get them out the door for anyone that's looking for tips if you want like your sales to go like this you just like make the prices a lot lower than everyone else that makes sense but like when you're pricing it you kind of just don't want to do that because you just want more money but like it works out in the end you just it just does okay and just listen to uh, the tip whatever <laughs> I don't know but yeah this is just this little sweater I think that's pretty cute for someone that would I don't know maybe a professor or something or if you're going for like a little schoolgirl look and I think this was the size this was size this is a small and it's a hundred percent wool this week I really didn't get that much stuff actually I got nine items and I paid forty two dollars I went to Salvation Army this week usually I go to Goodwill I've only went to Salvation Army one other time and I got like five items for like twenty dollars I was like oh I gotta come back here but I did go back there but I just went to a different location anyway this weekend I mean this trip I decided to pick up some LL Bean because I know that's a good brand to thrift it does have a little bit of upsell it's not as much as I usually go for I kind of go for like a $20 upsell I guess these were all $5 and I'm gonna sell them all for hopefully about $12 it's not as much as I would usually go for at all but it was like mad of them so I, I was just like picking them up and also at first when I first went into the thrift store I just couldn't find as usual I feel like that's kind of like a thing like at the beginning you can't really find anything so I was just I just kept finding a lot of them and it had some type of markup so you know I just decided to like pick that up anyway um so the first one is this beige mock neck one if I didn't already pick up like a beige turtleneck the other day this would have been mine but, um, <laughs> yeah, this is what it looks like. And it's just, like, this mock turtleneck. It's not, like, completely long. And it is made in Cambodia, size small. I think most of these are made in, like, what, is, what type of cotton? It's an S. 
S what? Oh, Supima cotton. I don't know what that means, but yeah. This one kind of has a smell to it. Like this was definitely owned by like some older woman, but um, I don't know. I always thought they like washed their stuff before putting it out, but I guess not because this one has a very pungent smell. The other two though are good. I think these are so great because it's Valentine's Day, so you know, people are definitely gonna go towards more pink and stuff. So I'm like trying to get more pinks and reds into like the um my inventory for this season in particular. So yeah, this is this was this is turtleneck also from LL Bean and it's in this like fuchsia color. I really like this color. This is the one from Spima Cotton. This is the medium to regular. And I noticed that it has like a couple of um like graphs. Grapes? Graphs? Graphs? I guess on here if you can see. Like there are a few of those, but I don't think anyone's gonna notice this at all. And yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. And someone will definitely buy it regardless. It's one thing. And then I got this like coral one. Also L Bean. Also mock neck. You know, I didn't know both of these were mock neck. Oh shoot. I thought it was actual turtlenecks, but anyway. But yeah, I think this one probably came from the same owner as the um beige one because it kinda does have a smell too, but the smell is nowhere close to as pungent as the beige one. It's just like so crazy how much you smell that shit. And it's also made from the same type of cotton. I might have to try to make some outfits out of these for my Instagram for Valentine's Day, but I'm just not really sure yet. I kind of want to like go for like some purple wide leg like type kind of like camo type pants. Not camo, um, what is it? Like the ones with the pockets, what is that called? I don't know, but like some baggy like light purple pants. If I could find some on my ne next thrift haul, that would be bomb. When I went thrifting this time, I was actually trying to find, like, some pants that I can, like, have in my own wardrobe. Because, like, those wool pants that I had on, you can see on my main Instagram page. It's just, like, these beige wool, like, really, like, proper type trousers or whatever. But anyway, I really like those pants. And I really was looking for another pair of pants that I could wear for myself when I was going thrifting last time. But I didn't really find anything that I wanted. And yeah, so hopefully next time I go thrifting, I could pick up a pair of pants that I can wear for myself. Hopefully, I think I want it to be pink so I can get like some pink content out for the Valentine's Day. But yeah, speaking of pink, I also picked up this great find, which is this Anthropology Mott sweater. So I haven't been showing you the labels. I just kind of just forgot. But I know this is useful because it was useful to me. But I got this Anthropology Mox sweater, also pink, which is great, and it's kind of like high-low. And then it has like this button-down back, which is really cute. I actually really like this, but I have no idea how I'd wear it. I probably have to do like a, maybe I was thinking like maybe like a white collared shirt, but also like some pink, maybe like a pink pleated skirt with it. And then I don't know, maybe like some sneakers, like really casual, like schoolgirl type look for something like this. I feel like, because I feel like this is something I very much wear in high school, but I wouldn't have known how to style it. So yeah, these are this this these videos are literally like little thrift slash styling videos because I definitely be like telling you it's how to style or or suggesting how to like style certain pieces so I'm not like telling you you can do whatever you want I know everyone has their own style and I totally respect that and I totally try to like think beyond just like my type of style all the time so yeah this is also in a small petite which is lucky for me if I like had the pieces to style it the way I wanted it to I only would need a skirt really but like yeah if I had the piece to style it without having to buy something new this would be a great piece for me. I love doing this inventory stuff as well as like putting like fashion content on Instagram because they kind of go hand in hand. Like I can always take pieces from my inventory and just like style them which is like so much fun to me. I just like enjoy doing this stuff a lot. Like it's really like really grinding my like 
upper gears, like the like good ones, you know? If that makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> um, this is another shirt. I think Tevin actually found this one. This is just a Madewell tank top. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep picking Madewell up. At least not their tank tops, because every time I pick up something that's Madewell, and I mean like, of course it does have an upsell, but the upsell is just not as high as I want it to be. So eventually I might like end up switching that out, or I don't know. I don't know, but like I'm not really feeling the prices that I can upsell Madewell tank tops for. I kind of go for like higher pricing, but like who cares? Um, it's just this like mock neck. Cause I want my, I just want my money to feel like I'm, it's worth it when I go out. You know, the trip to be worth it. But anyway, that's besides the point. But like here is the tag. This is what it looks like, like all the other ones. Yeah, there it goes. Just this mock neck tank top, and it's really cute because it has like this really long armhole, so it would just like hang down. But this is a size medium, and it's made in Vietnam. It's a really nice material though. Let me see if I can find a material on here. Excuse me. This is 60% cotton and polyester, but it's like a really like thick fabric. It's really nice. What's what? I don't know. What material is this one? This one's cotton too. Cotton because though this anthropology sweater is really nice. So, this is a brand I've never picked up before, I don't believe. I have picked up this Atletha um, type sweatshirt type thing. Um, I don't remember how much it price is for, but also it's not high as an upsell as I usually would make. I got a few really good pieces here, but most of it is just like not as high as I usually would upsell my items for, which is... A bummer but I wanted to like make my trip worth it again so something better than nothing and I again I did get a few good pieces that I could get for like an extra $20 or something which is good so yeah this is just it's just this top this really isn't my style I don't know how you style it and oh it has like a high low thing here it's cute though I think this would be cute for like working out more so for me personally so yeah that's atletha um this is obviously a big size it's a size large and what is this made out of probably cotton as well this is modal i wonder what modal is because i can see that a lot and that's another way i try to like pick up items when i go thrifting i look at like what fabrics they're made out of or whatever like if it's made out of silk or wool or whatever other than like stepping back and looking for things that stand out then I'll then go in and see like what they're made of and then I'll search them or you know I'll search them regardless but it's just like a way to get through a rack quicker just to step back look at the items see something that stands out look at what it's made out of obviously the brand what it's made out of the brand and um then search on the internet to see what the prices that I could go for would be and usually those are the pieces the ones that stand out the most that would surprise you and be worth a lot more than you think so that's just how I personally go through the racks at the stores just to make it more easier for myself and like take less time but yeah anyway for the last piece I think this is a really good piece I haven't listed this one yet but I think this is really good for the whole neon trend that's happening right now is just this neon green racer back um, Atletha tank top. And even though it's gym wear, it's still on trend. So I'm hoping this one will go very quickly. So yeah, this is just what it looks like. This obviously is like more athletic wear. And also has it like a ruched hem here. And this is a size... Um, this is a size, what's the size? Oh, extra small. Yeah, this is really small. I would be surprised if it was anything more you know, smaller, extra small. So, yeah, guys, I really just wanted to do this really quick haul. I don't want to take too much time on doing these. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, I'm going to be putting it on YouTube very soon. So, 
go to my main Instagram account and uh, this video will be on there for any if you want to like re-reference you just want to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel whatever for more videos for me whatever um and then you can go ahead and do that so i most definitely you so you can most definitely find my other channel in my other instagram's bio so yeah if you want to just like refresh anything go over anything see anything again whatever i don't know what you would want to do but yeah thanks for watching this live video be sure to follow this channel if you want more live thrift hauls i mean this channel i'm do, i do youtube so much <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, you should follow this profile, my fashion interest page, for uh, more updates and what I'm listing and more tips that I stumble upon in the future if you want to or you want to get into this stuff, whatever, how I price, whatever, whatever, whatever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>